What's up, y'all? It's Danny Myers, the bar god. I'm here to give you guys my crown two predictions. Shout out Miss Gracie, Big Cannon, Mellow, the gutter man, the whole Gorilla Warfare staff. They've been putting on dope cards over the last few years, and this one is obviously their biggest card to date, so shout out to them. They've been putting on for the culture. Uh, I'm going to just start at the bottom of the card. We got JC and Bourne. Um, this is a case of a dope, dope writer versus a incredible puncher. You know what I'm saying? Uh, JC's writing is probably way underrated, and I have Bourne in the top, you know, in the top three punchers in the battle rap game. Uh, this is gonna be a, a clash of great writing versus great punching, and the difference between great writing and punching, for those that may not know, is that writing involves like a very finely tuned and detailed articulation. And this is something that JC is a master of. Um, he's very articulate. He's not a puncher per se, as with somebody like Heartless or Be Magic or Rum Nitty. He's not in the category of puncher like that, although he can punch. And he is a puncher. You know, he's a puncher, but it's, he's got more intricacy in his writing than the average puncher, if, if you know, if that explains anything, but... Uh, born, he's relentless, relentless attacks, relentless punching, non-stop, and they come quick. It ain't no bunch of filler with with born. You're not gonna get a lot of four bar or eight bar or twelve bar setups before you get to a a punch. This man is setup line, punch line, setup line, punch line, setup line, punch line. It's an avalanche, and he bombards you with these. Also, he's very good at incorporating schemes into his punches you know wherever he throws them in the round and um he's, he's you know like i said he's top three puncher i mean so my prediction on this one is gonna be a dope dope battle i think it's gonna be very close but I, i'm gonna go with jc21 uh i just think his his writing may be a little bit overwhelming for born i think born is gonna give us three rounds of incredible punches back to back haymakers but jc's haymakers are, are a bit different you know what i mean so because he sets them up where you don't even see it coming you don't see the you don't see that haymaker coming so next up we got k shine it will um to me k shine is battle raps maybe number two performer or maybe even number one you know what I mean? Like, right now, I got, like, Die, Hitman, K-Shine fluctuating between one, two, and three spot. You know what I mean? K-Shine is incredible. And he's, over the past few battles, he's stepped up his, his punching power. Uh, Ill Will, you know, this was, you know, this was one of the golden boys of, of the new era. You know, ever since I seen him versus Johnny Alcatraz, I was like, Yo, that guy is part of the future. You know what I mean? Uh, I think he got a little bit derailed when the uh, URL situation didn't quite pan out the way, you know, maybe neither party wanted it to. But Ill Will has always been dope. Uh, he His freestyle ability, his aggression, he definitely thinks outside of the box. And I think that might be the difference in this battle. I think Ill Will's creativity is going to overpower K-Shine's punches and performance. And given the fact that Ill Will can freestyle and has the ability to rebuttal, uh, he might, you know, K-Shine probably say some crazy shit, and then you're going to have Ill Will rebuttal that on top of his written. And that is like a major plus. This is why guys like Sharon and Charlie Clips and Hollow and DNA and Disaster. This is why these guys are so deadly. Because they're able to take what you throw at them and turn it around on you. Plus the shit they already had for you. So, uh, wow. You know. But that's going to be a dope ass battle. I got Ill Will 2-1 in a, in a dope battle. Next up, we got Daylight and O-Red. You know, a lot of people probably... I wouldn't be surprised a lot of people say O Red gonna win this battle because they're gonna be like, oh well daylight gonna come with an antic or we never know what type of daylight we're gonna get. Um 
Me personally, I believe Daylight is going to come and make a statement because it's like when the spotlight isn't on him, when he's rapping and he's doing bars and he's no antics, he'll be talked about for three to four days, a week maybe, and then it's on to whatever the next hot topic is in battle rap. And Daylight is definitely one of those type of guys that wants to keep the cameras, the, the blogs. He wants to keep all that on himself, whether it's positive or negative. And he's a master at that. But uh, sometimes the antics overshadows his actual writing ability. Now, I think Daylight is one of the best writers in battle rap. And, you know, when he's writing, when he's serious, when he takes a battle... 100% serious and, he's serious and he's focused, he, he's one of the best, hands down, regardless of people's personal feelings about him, but like, like I said, I think for this battle, he's gonna bring, like, I think he's gonna bring it, he's gonna bring that pen, he's bringing that pen to Chicago, he ain't gonna come and play around, like, Chicago ain't the place for that, niggas don't wanna see that, niggas ain't trying to see they, like, do some stupid shit, you know what I'm saying, so, he going he gonna to bring bars. O-Red is one of the most underrated punchers and writers in battle rap. And I think O-Red is going to bring an incredible display of bars and maybe angles, a couple jokes. He's gonna, probably going to do his translation. That's going to be crazy if he does a dope translation and somehow relates it to daylight. But... In the grand scheme of things, I got a. Uh, if Daylight's writing and really rapping, I got Daylight. Dang. Pot, possibly. You know what? Dang, I want to say 3 0. Because I'm not really into giving niggas rounds. You know, some people just like to give somebody round. I, I don't give nobody around, but to, to, to say he with 3 0 O Red is me definitely. Uh, undermining what Red does with that pen. I, I know Red can probably clearly get around. I'm not sure if he can clearly get two rounds versus a serious daylight. If we got a serious daylight, 2-1 daylight. If daylight come, joking, anti, Red, probably 3-0. You know, that's that's just how that go. Um, let me see. What else? What else we got on the card? I lost my space. Oh, and head ice. Don't think I, don't think you're getting away with it, nigga. I'm still the king of Harlem, nigga. You gonna have to see me in that ring. Anyway, uh oh, we got John John, the Don versus Young Cannon. Shout out to both of those dot, um, both of those guys. But I got Young Cannon 3-0. and you know John John might be mad at me, but Cannon has beat a lot of the toughest opponents over the years and people just for some reason tend to overlook that but Cannon is not a game he is not a joke in fact this battle was supposed to be me versus young Cannon but I had to decline it due to a filming schedule I got going on so that's why they wind up getting John John versus young Cannon but John John has been dope. Uh, he was dope in a prep battle. He was dope versus the Charlie Clips one rounder I just seen, which I thought he edged. Uh, John John, he beat Reed Dollars. John John been on some shit lately, man. Like he been stepping his bars up. He beat Mr. Wavy, like clearly. But he going up against a different type of animal. And I would give John John around, but I'm not gonna do it. I got I got Young Kenny 3 0. Alright, uh let me see. Aver versus Sue Surf. Kinda out of order right here, but Aver versus Surf. Um Averb's a dope writer. Dope writer. He's another one of those cases that if he shows up, then it's it's like a long night for somebody. If he slacks off, then he's probably going to lose. You know, it, it, Averb is one of those type of MCs. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with, like, Charlie Clips and a bunch of other of these top tiers. Like, they show up when they feel like it. They show up when 
there's something either at stake or it's a big battle or it's a battle that they truly care about or if it's a battle they want to make a statement in, then that's when you're going to get their A game. But a lot of times, you know, they'll take a battle and it's just like they'll go in there and give you some bars and they get their money and get out of there. So, but um, with this battle, I definitely think A-Verb is not coming to play. Uh, Surf has been in there with you know, stiff, stiff, uh, competition. He's been in there with tough people. Um, he had a great battle with hollow, which I thought surf edged that battle. Um, surf also has a freestyle rebuttal ability. He also can freestyle. Um, he, he's good with the angles. Uh, he's very clever. He's a strategic writer. I could kind of see how people would want to see surf versus moot. Cause they both are, not really known to be bar heavy or like crazy lyricists like a like a Lux or a Chilla or a Danger or a crazy puncher like a B Magic or a Rum Nitty. But they are very strategic writers and they can break you down. And you know, I have been seeing a couple tweets where Surf is saying like he's not really motivated or he it's he's kinda trying to get into the zone for A Bird, but uh I think A-Verb is definitely focused and locked in to um, annihilate Surf. Um, I got A-Verb winning this battle. Uh, I don't know if it's 2-1 or 3-0. But A-Verb is going to bring you the showtime. He's going to give you a performance. He's going to give you like supreme lyricism. He's going to probably might try to break Surf down a little bit too. But I think... Verb is going to come with the, uh, he's going to go back to the bars. Because when he tried to do the jokes and the angles versus K-Shine, it did not work. And I don't think he's going to try that again. You know what I mean? Like, Verb ain't going to try that shit again. He want to show people that he can really rap. And I honestly think he's just a better writer or or lyricist than to surf. And that's not to take away from the surf skill. But I got Verb winning this battle. I'm going to say 2-1. I'm going to say 2-1. I don't know when the last time I seen Verb with a crazy three rounds, but when he's on his shit, he at least good for two. And I'm a, I'm a, I got him edging two rounds over, over Sue Surf. Uh, we got Charlie Clips versus Big Cannon. This battle was supposed to go down, what was that, like a year ago or a little over, something like that. But for whatever reason, it didn't happen. Uh Cannon is focused. I'm sure Clips wants to go and make a statement in Chicago. Because, you know, when Clips goes to the Midwest, he never really played. Like, he goes and he puts up dope performances. So, he, I saw, what was his last one versus JC in that one rounder? Not, I think that was JC and Clips. But anyway, Clips don't play in the Midwest. You know what I mean? And with the backlash of him backing out of the first battle um i think he's gonna be on his shit they both can freestyle they both can rebuttal they're both funny they're both witty they both kind of rap the same like four bar pattern and then they'll hit you with a crazy haymaker but i just think big cannon is way more witty and uh i got big cannon when it's 2-1 i got big cannon when it's 2-1 and please people don't think i'm picking writer's block members to win just because it's a writer's block thing now nah, it's not no bias it, this is just my i'm outside of battle rap mindset i'm outside of the writer's block right now i'm just a regular fan saying this is what i think is gonna happen so please don't think i'm just picking our writer's block members but that's who i got i got big cannon over charlie clips in a in a fun battle a dope battle uh very entertaining um very witty battle. Very entertaining on both sides. But I got a big cannon. Um, got Lady Luck and Official. Uh, honestly, I haven't seen too much of Lady Luck. You know what I'm saying? And we all know what Official does. I think people... I think the general consensus is that uh, Official is going to definitely win this battle. A lot of people got it. 3-0 Official. I myself got official winning this battle. I don't know 
how well Lady Luck will be able to transition to this era. We seen that Reed Dollars tried to come and transition and wasn't successful. I'm not saying just because he wasn't that she won't be, but like we we've known Reed to like really be battling more so than Lady Luck. So I don't know. I'm just thinking Lady Luck don't really have too much experience to even trans translate to this new era. So I got official definitely winning. Uh, 3-0. I got official 3-0. Uh, let me see if did I miss anything. Uh, XL versus Heavy Half. Yeah, XL versus Heavy Half. Heavy Half is dope. Very aggressive. Reminds me a little bit of a shotgun should. Not like rap skill wise, but just like presence, his aura. He bring that real street nigga feel to you. And he can write. And he can write. But he's going up against Excel, who is one of the better better writers that we have in battle rap. A little unappreciated too. But um I don't know if the like this is gonna be like a street street type of dude versus a, a writer street guy aggressiveness a writer a very smart deep thinker versus a street guy that chicago crowd gonna be feeling both of them i don't think it's gonna be no chicago bias even though uh heavy is at home i don't know if the crowd gonna be too biased or if they, i don't think chicago really get on like that they just fuck with whoever rapping better so i don't know i, I think XL going to take this battle. I, I want to say 3-0. Um, but Heavy, you know, this is a big battle for him. So I think he got a lot to prove. He want to show that he can get in there with these names and make a name for himself. And, you know, he's going to try to make an example out of XL. So I hope XL's on his shit and taking his battle serious. And um, if so, he's going to win this battle. But I think... You know, Heavy is going to make a, a good impression in a win or a loss. But um, I got Excel. I'll, I'll say 2-1. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Uh, I could be all wrong, but, hey, I'm just going off of what I feel as a, as a rapper and as a fan. I just think these are going to be some dope-ass battles overall. I don't think we're going to get no bullshit people in there, like, just playing and coming to play like niggas not coming to chicago to play because that's not a city that even get on with the games in the first place you know what i'm saying so when you go to chicago and battle you gotta come with your shit because niggas ain't for the fuck shit out there so you know i just hope everybody have fun get your tickets get the pay-per-view if you can't attend um i hope everybody be safe be you know be cordial have fun watch the battles and let me know what y'all think